Hey there. I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of How to Paint Like a Feminist. If this is your first time joining us, we'd cordially like to invite you to dust off that old mask and pull it on right up, because apparently we're going back into another national state of emergency because the gays can't seem to keep the peckers out of each other's buttholes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and have my handy dandy producer run those colors across the bottom of the screen. We're going to have Build the Wall Black, Monkey Pox Aqua Green, and Ukraine Yellow. Yeah, right now you have no idea where we're going with this, do you? Truth be told, neither do we. Totally unscripted. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off with this Build the Wall Black. We've got a nice straight line down the center. You hear that in the background? That's Biden's administration cleaning up the previous administration's mess by actually building the wall more. Is that what we're calling it now? Look at those illegals run from that wall. Straight to D.C. Oh, that's right. Now they're asking to deploy the National Guard because they only had 4,000 illegal immigrants dropped off the Capitol steps. But suddenly now they have brown people walking around. Liberals don't feel safe anymore. That's why they don't want them there. But it's okay for them to come over in Texas. We get a minimum 4,000 a day. But suddenly, the further north they go, the more of a problem they become. <laughs> Weird. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and extend that nice big wall there. Nice and big. Gotta make sure that wall is nice and thick. So, just like Karine Jean-Pierre says, who is the press secretary, that it's not necessarily building the wall, it's cleaning up the previous administration's mess by continuing the wall. It almost seems like everything Trump was doing you try to reverse the beginning, and now you're reversing again because you see that it doesn't work. This from the same group of people that said that we're not in a recession, even though the literal definition describes the situation we're in as a recession. But then again, how would they know? They can't even define what a woman is because they're not biologists. How would they know what a recession is because they're not economists? But you know who does know what a recession is? Every small business owner out there that's feeling the blow of this administration and then putting us on this foreign oil dependency. Good job. Uh, speaking of not really knowing what definitions are, let's talk about the definition of racism. So you've got Myra Flores down there in Texas, who's in Congress now, and her adversary is Vincent Gonzalez, and says the reason he should be elected is that he's a real Texan, even though Myra is too. What exactly was he referring to? Oh, I think you know. I guess she's not white enough? Oh, I got it. So if they're here legally, then you have a problem with them. But if they're not, then it's okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take some of this Ukraine yellow and start outlining the base of this black wall down here. Speaking of Ukraine, don't you love how during these times of inflation and a recession, how the Biden administration elects to send another $100 million to the Ukrainian farmers because God forbid our farmers don't need any help. But hey, that's okay. We got Zelensky over there posing for the cover of Vogue. You got Ukrainians vacationing on the beach, but let's go ahead and just send them more of our taxpayer dollars. $100 million to Ukraine, why not? Everybody seems to be getting stimulus checks from the government these days. And guess who's footing the bill? You are. And speaking of war, you have China out there saying that if Nancy Pelosi visits Taiwan, which she landed there this morning, eh, it could be all out war and they might take her out. Look, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you, China, if you're watching. Don't you dare make promises you don't intend on keeping. Won't you play with my emotions like that? But hey, even if they did incarcerate her, her husband with a stock trading would just bail her out and pay that bond. Am I right? I'm right. This administration is doing such a bang up job that you got American hating Brittany Griner in jail because she wanted to bring weed into Russia, which was a stupid move on her part. But when she sits there and bashes the national anthem and talks about how much she doesn't like America and then comes back screaming for America's help to get her out of that Russian gulag, and now we're going to trade a, an international arms dealer for her. 
Why is it always that we always see Democrats willing to trade terrorists for pieces of crap? I mean, hell, Obama did it with five Taliban leaders in Bergdahl. Why not do it for Brittany Griner? But you had the other guy over there that was supposedly a, a spy for us, and he's been sitting there for like two years. Not a peep. Oh, probably because he's a white male. That's right. I said what we're all thinking. Last and most certainly not least, we're gonna go ahead and start using our monkeypox aqua green here. Oh, that's right. The monkeypox outbreak out in California and stuff like that is it's almost 98% coming from males, and of that, it's almost 99% gay males. <laughs> How about that? You got the gay people out there having their unprotected sex and their orgies and spreading the monkeypox, and what's Gavin Newsom gonna do? Is he gonna shut down the bathhouses and the gay clubs? You know, because we have to have two weeks to flatten the curb and we're all in it together and let's sing Just Imagine. And, oh yeah, nothing's gonna get done because if you do and you go after a certain demographic, well then you're just a bigot, yet statistics show it's primarily in the gay community that's spreading this. Hey, where's Fauci? Maybe we can go back to the 80s when he screwed up the HIV pandemic. Let's bring him back here. Oh, that's right, he already screwed up the COVID one. <laughs> Man, you Democrats just know how to pick him and stick him. <laughs> Ah, uh, monkeypox is no joke. <sighs> yes, it is. <laughs> well, you got the monkeypox that's spreading like wildfire, and you got Gavin Newsom coming out and uh, declaring another state of emergency. What's going to get shut down? I guess we'll see. I'm willing to bet nothing. So the beautiful thing about this painting is that we're not going to do a reveal, but it's got a special quality to it. It's a goalpost, right? We're just gonna move it, just a little bit. Oh, that's great. Move the goalpost there. Gonna move the goalpost here. This is a recession? No, it's not. That's building the wall? No, it's not. Just move the goalpost. That's all we're doing. Just gonna move it a little bit more each time. Ah. You're welcome. Hey there. Right now there's a lot of families in America hurting, so here, even though we have fun with this, we sell these paintings. Are they quality? Absolutely. But hey, it's no Hunter Biden. It's actually better. I did this without smoking crack. But every painting that we raffle off, that money gets donated back to families in need in America. And we might throw some to Ukraine. <laughs> Just kidding. They already have enough of your money as it is. If you'd like to enter, go to the link down below. It's the only one there. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram at John Ross Painting. Until next time, listen to our podcast at the All-American Savage Show, wherever podcasts are downloaded. We'll see you next time.